You are listening to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles, and I'm Frank because I have to be. In studio today with Jen Clemen of the Coalition of Sex Worker Rights. Welcome, Jen. Thank you. Let's continue on with this uh, wonderful interview. Um, the first question I want to ask you in this segment is, what are the specific laws on the books as they relate to sex workers that you think uh, are, are, are most important to note? Um, I mean, the four criminal codes that we usually fight, uh, we're working to repeal, are codes 210 through 213. Um, one is, that uh, 210 is finding yourself in a maison de boche in, like, what's known as a brothel. Um, 211 is transporting somebody to a brothel, so that includes chauffeur service, etc. Um, the other is sort of introducing somebody into the trade which is 212, and 213 is the most common one that people are charged with, and that's communicating for the purposes of selling sex. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's also other laws that are used, like indecency laws, or, I mean, a lot of sex workers on the street are charged with flanage, it's uh, lawyering, or jaywalking, or anything, really, things that most people in the city don't get charged with. Now, there is a stigma attached to the idea of being a sex worker, Mm -hmm. and I'd like your thoughts on why you think that stigma exists? Yeah. Um, I think people have issues around, uh, they, they, they have a hard time stomaching the idea of sex for money. They have a hard time stomaching the idea of sex with strangers. Um, a lot of that is rooted in our uh, sexual beliefs and our sexual conservatism, uh, which I tend to think Canada is uh, widespread for. I, I think people don't, they have a hard time understanding uh, I mean, it's funny because you see things like on the Oprah show, you see like Oprah having a, 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 you know, someone who'll come and teach pole dancing so that you can do pole dance dancing for you and your lover. But the second you actually are a dancer and an exotic dancer in a club, it, you become a whore um, because then you're taking it too seriously. So while we are in this culture of encouraging a more open sexuality within a monogamous couple situation, the idea of having sex with more than one person having sex with multiple partners, um, fantasy, all of those ideas are still pretty shunned, and you'll find those co- communities in general are fairly underground. So there's a lot of education that needs to be done around sexuality. Um, there's a lot of education that needs to be done around why people are working, and that's sort of what we also tend to do is, you know, the concept of work and how sex work is a way for a lot of people to have an income. Um, if they're students, if they're drug users, if um, they don't have other options, or even if they have tons of options. So it's, it's, it's as widespread. I mean, there's as many reasons for sex working as there are for taking other jobs. So there's a lot of education that needs to be done around that. Next question. Um, obviously, your organization is fighting for the idea that sex work should be considered as legitimate as yeah. any other job. My question to you is, given the stigma, given the the problems that people have with sex in general and their attitudes towards sex, why should sex work be considered as legitimate as another job? Well, the fact is that there are a lot of people doing it. I mean, it doesn't matter if you would do it. It matters that you have to respect the people that are doing it. And so for people who are doing it, for people who do consider it a legitimate job, it needs to be considered that. I mean, it exists, and it is a huge industry, and if... You, you can't just ignore the fact that it's going on, and you need to make sure, we all need to make sure that people in the industry have those rights. And for that reason alone, it should be legitimized, but also because it is a, 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 it is a service for remuneration. And it, it, I mean, just by virtue of the fact of what it is, it should be considered legitimate. Um, aside from the fact that legitimizing it will allow sex workers to have the same rights as other workers. I mean, it, it's a... Uh, it's happening, and we need to sort of just accord sex workers those same rights. It makes perfect sense. 